Hey everyone. So today I'm finally going to answer the question that I asked or that I posed to all of you many months ago. And that is, what animal will call this half acre bit of land, which will be a pasture, home? But first, before I do that, I got to take care of some of the animals I've already got. So I'm going to give you an update on the chickens. Not the coop, because everything that's been going on in life around here, the coop has been put on hold. So now that things are getting back to normal, work on the coop will resume. So first this morning, we've got to feed the chickens that we have. It's a friendly one. <laughs> yeah, they're ready for some food. Excuse me. No, you gotta stay in. Nope. No, no, no. You gotta stay in. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Every single morning, they act like they haven't eaten in three days. So the three chickens that we brought from our old house, I think I had mentioned before on a, a, my last video about the chickens, they were picking on some of the newer ones. And so we moved them back into their old cage that they've been in since we moved here. And uh, finally these chickens were big enough to take care of themselves. And so slowly one by one, we moved those other three in there and so far so good they're all um getting along there were two batches of chickens and they're all in there now then we had a third two chickens that we got at a chicken expo because to round out the colored eggs i needed green and so we got two olive eggers i don't know six eight weeks ago and they've been in another smaller cage and so we've now moved them into the cage that the other three were in until they can get bigger and then be put into the main coop. So out of 12 chickens that we bought after coming here, we were doing pretty good as far as being all hens. And then the last two, one of them is a rooster. So we've been hearing crowing in the garage every morning or trying to crow. He's getting better now. So he's outside and he's heard the roosters, you know, from across the valley here and he's chiming right in with them. And so we're going to keep him for now, at least. He seems to be um, pretty nice as far as roosters are concerned. He actually hides under his little female friend. Um, so for now, he's not too loud, you know, and we've got roosters around us anyway. So as long as he stays nice, uh, we'll probably end up just keeping him. I'll take you down here and show you them. For the same age, you can see there's definitely a size difference. The rooster is much bigger. All right, so now to the main subject of the video. And that is, what is going to call this half acre of land on the north side of our homestead home? Um, you guys have put out a lot of great guesses and only a couple of you got it right. So I've heard um, goats, I've heard llamas, I've heard alpacas, donkeys, you name it. I think I heard it except for what we're actually planning on. And only one or two people actually guessed correctly. We are going to be getting a lot of these eucalyptus trees out of here to give us some more sun because this half acre is going to be full of grazing grass. So that gives you a little bit of a clue. <laughs> Can I draw this out any longer? No. The plan is to uh, get ourselves a family milk cow. And so I've taken so long to actually put this out there because I wanted to make sure I'm not the type of person, as you know, who just jumps into things. I like to do tons of research. And then once I know everything I need to know or feel like I know everything I need to know, you're always learning more, then I'll make that next step. 
Uh, that next step has not been taken, obviously. This is not a ready pasture. We've done lots of talking, lots of research. We are going to be looking into a smaller miniature type cow. We actually went to a, a ranch two or three months ago now. Um, they raise Dexter cattle. Dexter is an Irish breed. It's a heritage breed. It's a small, small breed. And their back is pretty much the same height as my waist. Now they produce a lot less milk than a full-size cow. We're talking maybe three gallons a day, which is still more than we need um, or about what we need. You know, it'd be great to have the milk, butter, cream, cheese, yogurt, kefir, or kefir, all that stuff sounds really exciting. And it's a commitment. It's definitely a commitment, less so with a miniature cow. The other cow we're looking into is a mini Jersey cow. Uh, they produce a bit more milk. They're easier to, they're easier to milk. Their butter fat is a little bit higher, although Dexter's have a good percentage of butter fat as well. Uh, mini Jerseys have a little more problem in birthing whereas Dexter's um, don't really have that problem. Dexter's are very, very hardy breeds. And, and Jersey's are hardy too, but they do have some problems birthing and sometimes need assistance. I've also heard that uh, Jersey's can be a little bit more picky on grass, whereas in lean times, a Jersey or a Dexter can, you know, eat brush and, and, and scrub and things like that. So not that we're going to have a lean time. I mean, we'll have to put sprinklers out here to water this grass. I would love to have grass here, you know, year round. We're going to have to uh, do rotational grazing. And then we'll probably have to supplement with hay at certain times of the year a little bit. Um, but, you know, it'd be great to have a grass fed milk cow. Dexters are a little more easy to find here in our area of the country. Uh, many Jerseys aren't. However, um, at our local feed store, they said that there was a Jersey farm that they could put us in touch with uh, who had smaller jerseys. So we still haven't done that. But this whole thing, and we've got the jerseys, they're not going to be ready to bring home until a year from this November. So we've got some time for that. We could probably get a jersey, a mini jersey, a little quicker if this ranch is what I think it is. So that's the, uh, the answer. If you guys have a milk cow, let us know what type of milk cow you have and what you like about it. Again, we're going for minis just because I would love for them to be able to eat grass. Uh, the majority, the 90% of their diet would be fresh grass. And we can have that year round here with watering. We will probably, well, we'll definitely need to put in a well. Uh, you're not going to be going on county water. The bill would be quite high. But we've done all the math. And, uh, you know, it would definitely be a good investment for us. It would definitely pay for itself in dairy. And then every year you have a calf to sell. So that's the next big step in our homesteading journey is a family milk cow. So, yes, we are moving uh, about this at a snail's pace, um, basically just because we want to know everything we need to know to get started and not have a bunch of surprises that come up later. There's always going to be surprises that come up no matter what you do. But if you're prepared for most of them, or at least know where to find the answers and get help, then you're that much further ahead. Um, before we sign off, I wanted to show you the garden because this is going to look way different than when you saw it last. Not bad for having salt damage just six weeks ago or less maybe. The potatoes are getting ready to be harvested. We've got some blooms, so I'm gonna let those go another week or two, and then I'll have a video on the Next Level Gardening channel about the harvest. And we've got zucchini coming out our ears, cucumbers as well. Beans are just starting to bloom over there. We've got some bush beans here. And you can see just the zucchini is going crazy. At our old house, we did not have a lot of bees. And so you had to plant five or six zucchini plants to just get a handful of, of a harvest. Well, here we don't have that problem. Not sure if you can see it, but everything out here is covered. Well, now that I say that, where'd they all go? <laughs> Eggplant. It's really dark. I'm not sure if you can see that.
corn is definitely starting, well, it's been tasseling for a while, and now we've got some silks in here as well. The tomatoes are so late this year, but they're doing their thing. We've got some baby Kellogg's breakfast in here somewhere. Just saw some last night. So that's the update. Um, I know it's been a while since I've been on here. The plan now though is now that all of the stressors are behind me, the plan is to get a homestead video out to you every Tuesday. So today is Tuesday and here's the first one. On the gardening channel, we're gonna be doing videos Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So thanks for hanging with me during this time and uh, I will see you on this channel next Tuesday.